Hello friends, welcome to the third episode of our New Zealand series. If you haven't already, we recommend checking out our previous two episodes where we covered a scenic journey from Christchurch to Queenstown and a tour to Milford Sounds even on a very rough day. In this episode, we'll talk about our time in Lake Taupo before traveling to Tepuya, a geothermal and cultural center located in Rotorua in the North Island of New Zealand. To reach Lake Taupo, we took a flight to Auckland and then a bus to Taupo, where we stayed overnight beside the lake. CityLink bus services are a cheap and convenient way to travel in New Zealand, particularly if you want to focus on natural beauty and photography rather than driving around. While in Taupo, we went for a walk to a nearby hot spring and watched bungee jumping up close. Bungee jumping is an adventure sport where a person jumps from a high platform connected to a long elastic cord which provides a thrilling experience of free falling and rebounding back. The modern form of bungee jumping originated in Vanuatu in 1970s. From our hotel, we went to visit a hot spring nearby. Putting our tired legs into the hot spring was just amazing. Lake Taupo is the largest lake in New Zealand by surface area, covering 616 square kilometers. It was formed around 26,000 years ago by a massive volcanic eruption that created a caldera, which later filled with water over time. The Maori people consider Lake Taupu as a sacred site due to their strong cultural connection to it, and according to legend, it was created by God of Fire. From Lake Taupu, we travelled to Rotorua, a city located in the Bay of Plenty region of North Island. Rotorua is known for its geothermal activity, Maori culture and outside recreation opportunities. The city is situated on the southern shore of Lake Rotorua, which was formed by another volcanic eruption nearly 200,000 years ago. The surrounding area is home to a number of geothermal attractions, including geysers, hot springs, mud pools and steam vents. During our visit to Rotorua, we first went to Tepuya, a geothermal and cultural center dedicated to preserve and promoting traditional Maori arts and art crafts. At Tepuya, we enjoyed hangi for lunch, a traditional Maori method of cooking food using heated rocks buried in a peat oven. During our visit to Tepuya, we had an amazing tour guide who was telling the traditional Maori stories and the history and the background of the location. Please listen to her story. This is deep. And I have no doubt in my mind when you arrive to Rotorua, the first thing you may have noticed about our city was the smell. If you're looking for the source of the smell, look no further. It comes from these bubbling, boiling hot springs that contain sulphur. So we're smelling the sulphur. Is it harmful over a long term of exposure? No. Many studies have been conducted here to determine the effects of inhaling these sulfurous gases in Rotorua. Listen to the sounds of the bubbles of the hot mud pool.
understandably they called this area the Bay of Plenty, referring to its bountiful natural resources. Now Māori, we called it Waiāriki. Wai means water ariki gods. We called it the waters of the gods, referring to the hot springs. Mm -hmm. There are the geysers. Again, they go off randomly throughout the day. It's not a scheduled event. They go off at least once every hour. Eruptions can start any time in the hour. And when they start, they usually last for half an hour. At full eruption, Pohutu, or the Big Splash, the largest of our geysers can reach heights of up to 100 feet, or roughly 25 to 30 meters. So we're going to head down to that bridge now. Hot water from the geyser and the heat underneath making the rocks very hot and people were lying down there having a hot stone massage. Tepuya also offers cultural performances and demonstration including haka dances as well as traditional Maori storytelling. In our next episode, we will visit the Maori Cultural Center to watch and learn haka dance. Please watch that episode. Overall, as you have seen, Lake Taupu and Tepuya offer stunning natural wonders, outdoor recreation, geothermal wonders and cultural experiences. We had a great time exploring these areas and we hope you have enjoyed watching this episode too. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. Thank you for watching.